yo, 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 it's D Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why you will attract good fortune and good blessings when you go on semen retention. Your entire life is going to start flashing with pulses of greatness when you've when you've retained or for maybe a month. Let's let's for an example, say for a month, you've been on retention for 30 days. We have, we have red pill content creators saying there's a limit. There's a limit of, of how long you should go on retention. They're, they're basically trying to dim down how great your life can be. They're saying that, oh, if you go over 21 days, you might be a little bit too aggressive. It just might be too, it might be too much for some people. And the thing is, if you, if you do this, you're, you're, you're selling yourself short a little bit. Because, like I said, the more you go in retention, the more action you take, the less excuses you give, and your life starts to change slowly but surely. So if you if you limit yourself, you're going to lose your ambition, you're going to lose your vigor, and you're just not going to be as great as you can be. So make sure you retain, you transmute, and you live your best life possible 24-7. Success, there's, there's no days off for success. I don't care if it's a holiday. I don't get. I don't care if it's someone's birthday. We don't. We don't take time off for success. Success is twenty four seven. So you have to. If you really wanted it, success will be will be circulating through the pulses of your of your brain activity twenty four seven. If you're if you're not obsessed, stay average. If you're not obsessed, stay average. Either you get obsessed or you will stay average. Pulses of greatness is flashing in your life. You're, everything that you tend to do is just a little bit different than other people. And this is how you're getting your results. So, I mean, you're going to get blessings. You're going to get good fortune. You're going to get good breaks. You're going to get the best from other people. And... You're going to start realizing what the law of attraction is and how it's actually working through your life. See, the thing is, like, an example is you might have been thinking about somebody or, or maybe they might have been thinking about you. And you let's say, for example, you might work in the same work environment. And then you had a nudge to use the bathroom because apparently like your body says that you have to you have to go to the bathroom you have to use the bathroom and then once you go in the bathroom you see the person that you were thinking about or or they might have been thinking about you and then you're like wow see this is this is the law of attraction at its work you get in you get in direct proportion of what your habitual thought is once you put an image in your mind and you hold it for maybe 17 20 30 seconds that image gets broadcasted into the into the uh, world and then through the law of gestation through a period of time an incubation period it gets brought to you. you you might see examples of it something that reminds you of it and then eventually I mean, you're gonna you're gonna see it in your reality so knowing this information you can pretty much get anything that you visualize and you're and you're serious about Visualization plus action completes the manifestation. So like I said, you will attract good fortune, good blessings, the best from other people, the, be the better breaks, and just very positive things happening to you when you go on retention because your, your vibration, your energy that you're carrying is very high. The energy that you're carrying is just very, very high. So, like I said, if you if you're having a high vibration and if you're carrying a very, very massive, massive energy, you're going to start getting the better things in life. Um, your life is brought to you by you. So make sure you're always talking about the things that you want, visualizing the things that you want, getting excited about the things that you want before they come into your existence making room for the things that you want and expecting the things that you want because you will be getting the things that you want in divine timing so i mean there's no there's no point to be negative there's no point to to say to to think things aren't happening you have to be patient and you have to be serious and you have to just keep holding the vision and taking action 
and precise ways to get what you want. So like, like I said, you're going to get blessings. You're going to get the best from people. You're going to, you're going to get promotion, increase, influence, all of the things that you really want in this reality to make it the best, you're going to get it based off, like I said, your high energy that you're carrying, the high energy that you're carrying. It's all about, it's all, it's all about the presentation you're broadcasting with via your energy. So make your energy as high as humanly possible. Make your energy as high as humanly possible all of the time. You're you're gonna literally live a cheat. You're gonna literally have a cheat code uh, when it comes to life. You're gonna have a cheat code. Your cheat code is your energy. Your cheat code is regardless of what is happening around you. You still have this internal bliss and joy and expectation that things will always work out for you because that is what your subconscious believes and that is what you're broadcasting out via your your mood. So like I said, <clears throat> energy is contagious. People will start doing things for you just because you have high energy. People will start being friendly around you because you you have high and engaging energy. Make make your energy the most thing that is your most your biggest priority. Like I said, people like to take days off when it comes to success. People want to be successful one day. People want to be successful some days. And people just want to chill the next day. And like I said, success isn't given to anybody. It's earned. And success is 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 due every single day. So I mean, like I said, I'm like, these aren't these aren't cli cliche, uh, cliche uh, catchphrases just to make you feel good about yourself. These are these are actual facts. Like. If you really want, like I'm saying, if you really want to be good at something, you literally have to be, you might have to be obsessed with it. Your brain activity has to be occupied with it 24-7. See, that, that's why Jeff Bezos said that passion is stop trying to get catch the shiny object and then let the wave come to you. And this happens by your by your passion, because if you're, if you're passionate about something, passionate about something, then when times get tough, you're not going to quit. But if you're not as passionate about things... The first, the first sign of adversity, you're going to quit and it's never going to work out. So choose your hard. Choose your hard. Because, like I said, life can be hard. Like, an example is eating very, very high fructose foods and high oil foods feels good in the moment. But it's, it's not going to help you out, like maybe in the long term choose your heart the hard thing is to to eat the to eat the foods that you know are better for your body and another hard thing is your the, the pain of regret or the pain of discipline which one is your heart you have to start thinking about your life as about the slight edge your daily habits dictate your reality dictate your 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 mood dictate how your life turns out so if you're always in that negative vibration negative mood negative habits you're gonna start passing over opportunities and you're not gonna get the best from life but you're in if you're in a positive positive mindset positive headspace you're going to attract uh, opportunities. Opportunities will stick to you. People will like you more. And you're just going to have a better life. Positivity, being proactively positive is a rule of divine compensation, divine manifestation. The highest, you, you literally create your miracles or you, you create your pity. It's up to you. It's about your subconscious beliefs. It's about how you like to use your mind, how you like to think. Um, you use your mind literally and getting the things that you want. Realize that there's invisible beings and, and invisible energy, uh, invisible beings attending to your very utmost desires and needs. People listen. The Most High listens to what you want. He knows the de desires of your heart. You are, and you are the son of the Most High. So if knowing all this, 
If the Most High knows the desires of your heart and you are a ch child of the Most High, then you're, regardless, you're going to get the things that you want. You just can't doubt it. The thing is, people doubt too, many, too much. They don't know who they are. They don't know their power. They don't know where their power lies. And this is why they come up short. But you, you're different. Just because you are who you are, you're already given the better things in life. You, you're already given the best things in life. Now it's just now it's up to you to act like it and just do everything in your power to to get it. Because you these are things that are already given to you. It, it was intended for you. The best things in life were already intended for you. So act like it and get what you deserve because it's what you actually deserve. Like I said, if you keep affirming that you're not worthy, someone else keep keep lowballing yourself you're just you're just affirming to your subconscious that you're not worthy and whatever you what your whatever your subconscious believes is going to manifest it for you so believe in the best and be delusional about your beliefs at the beginning be delusional about being being well off even if you're not well off be delusional start living in that in that in that reality of you being well off and how you would feel when you are well off and then just keep playing the part until it until it comes. It will come. You take action, it's gonna come. <clears throat> Buy assets over liabilities. Don't follow the crowd. Do your own thing. Be passionate about your own life. Be obsessed with your own life. Be selfish about your own life. But once you build up yourself, then you can help other people. But you can't help other people if you don't have anything for yourself. Like, comment, and subscribe. You see me in this black, black on black chain. Um, comment if you if you guys like my style, and I'll keep I'll keep doing it. And then I mean we're gonna we're gonna start making more videos. We're gonna increase our subscribers. And we're gonna get pretty 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 active on this on this on this site. Like, and I'll make sure you share it with your with people who may need to see this message. And then we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.